All right. So you, you, um, ended your dissertation there on what I was going <laughs> to hit on next, whether you thought that this was a legitimate battle between Miller and Richardson. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think anybody thinks that's going to be the case in the end. Um, but, uh, I, I think it's more along the lines of, um, you know, Richardson's had his issues. He's had hamstring. Um, the, he came to school with an MCL, uh, I don't know what you would call it. I guess a, a slight tear and he's played through it um, in his two years here. And, and um, you know, but he, he missed a lot of games last year because he just was hurt. And so, you know, what happens if he goes down? I think you, you need another guy. I, again, I think that Richardson is the guy. Um, maybe Miller can be some kind of a change up if you will. And they play him a, a good that he could win the job but i think i think most people and i believe that richardson is probably the guy now bob emory jones of course was highly touted coming out of mm -hmm. high school led the um, nation in interceptions with 13 last year a bit of a roller coaster mm -hmm. ride in his one season mm -hmm. but he had been grooming for quite some time under kyle trask and others leading into the 2021 season and to be fair to him there was a lot of <laughs> uh instability around him while he was trying to progress last season. So him being as highly touted as he was, how do you compare and contrast Anthony Richardson? Does he have an even fifth gear to go into beyond what Emory Jones shows us? Yeah, I think um, you make a good point as far as comparing. I think what we've seen athletically as far as his legs and Emory actually was a pretty good runner. He led the team in, in rushing last year. I think he had like, I don't remember if it was 700 or 800 yards. He, he led the team in rushing. Um, so he could run the ball between the tackles. Um, Anthony though is just, I mean, the guy does standing backflips and all kinds of crazy stuff like that that you shouldn't do when you have an MCL tear, but he does it anyway. But um, uh, but he also has a a um, he has a, a really nice arm, a good arm, and, and and I think I think Emory did to a certain extent, uh, but he he was kind of limited in some of his, he was, he, he was not a touch passer at all. And I think, uh, Anthony can be a touch passer and, you know, he needs, he needs a, we'll get to the receivers I'm sure in a little bit, but he, he, he needs a, a couple of targets more to be able to hit, um, and, and be more effective. Um, whether he reads the field, I think that's, that's the progression he's going through right now. Uh, in learning the offense and, and, you know, I'm not actually eyeballing it at practice. I'm just hearing from the sources that I have. And so, you know, we'll figure out, you know, where he's at in, 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 in reading his progressions as we go.